American life is full of abbreviations. CEO, AT&T, KFC, RSVP, and DIY, and so many more. What's important to know is how to correctly stress abbreviations so people understand you when you say them. So in this video, you'll learn all about stress in abbreviations. It's actually very simple, but I so often hear non-native speakers stress abbreviations incorrectly, which makes them unintelligible. So here's how to say them correctly. Pronounce each letter completely with the most stress on the last letter. Like this, CEO, AT&T, KFC. I've heard so many non-native speakers say SEAL instead of CEO. Now you can see how this makes that word unintelligible. And when I lived in China, there was a supermarket called RT Mart. What really confused me was people telling me that I should go to Arty Mart. My brain never connected Arty with RT. In my mind, those are very different things. As a native speaker of English, our brains store words based on their stress patterns. So when speaking English, one of the most important keys to understandable pronunciation is putting the stress on the correct part of words. In English, you'll find abbreviations in so many places, so it's really important to get a handle on just how to pronounce them correctly. So here's where you'll find them in company names like UPS. CNN, CVS Pharmacy. You'll find them in university names, such as MIT for Massachusetts Institute of Technology, or UCLA for the University of California, Los Angeles. A lot of TV stations are abbreviated, such as CBS and ABC. Government agencies in the United States often have abbreviations like the CIA, FBI, and the IRS. Tech stuff can be abbreviated. Do you work in IT? Please send me a PDF. And finally, depending on your profession or field of study, you likely have abbreviations that are industry or workplace specific that you use on a regular basis. For example, the medical field is full of them, such as EKG, CT scan, and RN, just to name a few. Did you or do you attend a university commonly known by its initials? I did. I went to UCSB, and I also taught at PCC. How about you? Do you work for a company that's commonly known by its initials? Let me know in the comments section below, and thanks for watching.